Hello YouTube and welcome back to our channel. This is Eugene and today is the time to say a couple words about the SQ components, what's the key difference between the SPL and the SQ, and I'll also open up the more information about the Blake Hydro line from the dev bonds and what's the purposes of use. So right on my table I brought two speakers with the same budget. Uh, one of them is Black Hydra 613C and Macheta MM60F. So the budget on those speakers are 60 bucks, so the Black Hydra is $60 in some sense. Uh, the Macheta are $64, so uh, there's only $4 different, but let's take a look on the way how the magnet system looks like. So this is huge difference between those two speakers, and they might be complicated for you when you're searching for a new pair of speaker and you see that's that, that huge difference, you know, between the Macheta and Black Hydra, you might say, okay, Macheta, 100%. Uh, but it is more complicated than it looks like because uh, the Macheta will never gonna give you the same sound quality as the Black Hydra can. Now is the perfect time to answer the question why the Devbonds has been changed the game in the SQ components world and why I'm so proud to talking about them. Because of the price range and the size range. So um, about the price range, yeah. Uh, as I said guys, Black Hydra is only 60 bucks which is an uh, insane price range for the SQ components. Yeah, the sound quality from this speaker that you're gonna get is truly sound quality level, which is absolutely insane. And if you're gonna compare it with a high-end lane, which is uh, HGC228, uh, those pair of speaker will gonna cost you 400 bucks. Sorry about the box, so it's a little bit scratching, that's why I bring it to here. I don't wanna bring uh, the new box from the warehouse. <laughs> it's 400 bucks. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, now uh, another thing and another product that I want to show you because uh, that will help you a lot if you decide to go with the SQ components is the amplifier that we just released with, which is um, MFA 5.1000. So it is 5 channel amplifier with 80 watt per channel and 300 on a spare channel. So that's meaning you easily can fire up 4 speakers and the sub. And yeah, some of the people are gonna say 300 watt, you can fire up any subs, but for the SQ system, 300 watt RMS on the sub will be enough. So this is the SQ guys, different world and different numbers. So do not pay attention on that, those RMS power, so 3000 watt RMS sub, no, no. That. If you're gonna meet the guy who actually from truly SQ world, and you're gonna tell him that your sub 3000 watt RMS power, be ready because he probably throw the stone in your way. So um, now is the time to compare. Uh, let's do some little tests. So we're gonna we're gonna compare those Macheta MM60F against uh, the Black Hydra, and we'll see what's the truly different between those two speakers. Uh, but little remark: uh, we're gonna listen them separately because uh, the way how uh, I had supposed to tune those speakers are completely different. So I can't run. Uh, this speaker from 80 hertz, which is absolutely fine for this speaker. Um, but I'm gonna mix some magic on the video, so to make sure it's gonna be enjoyable to watch. Uh, but again, you know, there's no trick. Uh, I just have to uh, recalibrate the, the gain as well as the crossovers uh, to give you best performance from both speakers. So. Let's test them out.
I guess I hope you heard the difference between those two speakers and one more remark in this video uh, keep in mind guys the Black Hatter has been fight against the Machete speaker without the Twitter but the Twitter gonna be included in a box uh, with your speaker so uh, but I don't think so it's gonna be fair enough if we're gonna fight uh, six and a half against six and a half one of them gonna be with the Twitter and another one without uh, so that was a great test uh, so thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one